Hi guys, I hope you're doing fine. This is week 12 of online learning and we'll be uh, remembering together the informal letter. We will recap the meaning and purpose of writing an informal letter, restate the structure of an informal letter, and compose an informal letter. So an informal letter is written to friends and relatives. The purpose of writing a letter is not to make a complaint or inquiry, and the tone is also casual. The words used can be slang, and you are not there to create an impression. Informal letters can be considered a freestyle swimming, where you are free to write in the style and tone as you wish. There is no set format, and there is no need to be using formal style and tone. The informal letter consists of three parts, the introduction, the body, the conclusion. The first paragraph will consist of an introduction, which will give the recipient an idea about what you are writing to them with a short summary of the main topic of your letter. If you don't know the person you are writing to, you may want to introduce yourself in this introductory paragraph as well. In the body, it's about two to four paragraphs that consists of the message you want to get across along with any details you may want to convey. The last paragraph will usually be the conclusion where you wrap everything up. You can sum up your main idea in this paragraph, thank the recipient for their time, wish the recipient good luck, and or ask any questions. This is the structure or the format of an informal letter. As you can see, up to the right there's the address, below it the date, then you start with the salutation, dear, then you write the name, along with a comma. Then you start with the opening, which is the introduction, the body, the closing or the conclusion, then the closing phrase, and below it you write your name or the signature. This is an example of an informal letter. It has all the characteristics that are the date, the address, the salutation, which is dear Maya, and uh, the closing phrase, which is hope to see you soon, and the signature edity, and the paragraphs are divided. Here are different expressions that you can use in each part of the informal letter. For example, in the opening, you can use thanks for your letter, thank you so much for writing. You can ask questions such as how are you, how have you been, how's everything going, I hope you are doing fine, I hope you are well. Or if you are responding to news, if you received a letter or, if you're, make, or you're making a comment, uh, you can say your last letter was a real surprise, what wonderful news about blah blah blah. I've just received your letter, I'm so happy, sad to hear that and so on. The purpose or why you are writing the letter, you have to mention it. I'm writing to tell you about, or I would like to give you some good news about, my new life in, the party last week, my baby sister, my visit to Paris, it depends on the topic. The changing topic, if you want to change the topic to move on to another paragraph, you can uh, say, anyway, I would like to tell you about one more thing, Anyway, I was wondering, and uh, we finally reached the closing expressions. Uh, for example, I must go now, I'd better finish, I'll have to finish now because, and etc. The ending or the signature, which is the uh, closing phrase, write uh, soon, write again soon, bye for now, whatever, and so on, love, lots of love. And below it, you write your name. So your assignment for this week is to write a letter to a friend or relative explaining the experience and process of online learning. How is it uh, being done? What are the subjects you are covering? How are you dealing with it? What are the difficulties you are facing? What changes would you like to suggest? And make sure to include all the characteristics such as the address, date, uh, salutation, opening, etc. Divide your letter accordingly, and don't forget to submit on time. 
have a nice week and stay safe.